Hello friends, let's do Wernick area, area 22. Its competency number is PY 10.9. We are doing on three headings and first we are taking functions. The first important function is Wernick area do final comprehension of auditory and visual information. This means whatever we hear or whatever we see, this all information finally reaches to Wernick area and Wernick area makes complete meaning of it. For that, it get inputs from multiple area, especially association area, from auditory association area also, from visual association area also, from sensory association area also, whatever we already know that information also reaches and mixing all these information by association of all these information, Wernick's area make meaning of that auditory or visual information. Second function is that Wernick area is sensory center or area for speech. Whatever we want to speak, Wernick area generate thought, select word and gut. And that's why Wernick area is called highest seat for language based intelligence. And the area is also called gnostic area or knowing area or tertiary interpretation area. Now physiological anatomy or location of Wernick area. We can say that all these are very uh, superior or top class function. So we can take the word superior and top class so temporal. So it lies on superior temporal gyrus in categorical or dominant hemisphere that is left hemisphere in majority of the person. In fact, posterior part of superior temporal gyrus. And finally, we are doing the clinical part. So lesion in the Wernick's area causes sensory aphasia in which person speaks a lot, word output is increased, I speech is fluent. It's fluent because Broca's area show abnormal kind of hyperactivity, maybe due to denervation, hypersensitivity. But as Wernick's area is not working, the speech does not make any sense. Lot of jargons, lot of new imaginary word that does not make any sense. Such speech happens. So this was about Wernick's area. Nena tere kajdaare hai, nenon pe hum dil haare hai.